Hey guys, in this video, we're going to answer the question, what is normal blood sugar levels, okay? Um, a lot of times you've been told that it's between 80 and 90, but it really, according to the American Diabetes Association, it really depends on what year you're looking at, because in 1925, it was 100, basically between 90 and 120, okay? That was normal. In 1968, it was 130. Then in 1978, it was 115 milligrams per deciliter. Okay. And then 1997 to 2003, it was 110 milligrams per deciliter. And then between 2004 and 2007, it's back to 100. Okay. So my opinion is that you need it between 80 and 90, but up to 100. But here's the thing. There's an amazing book that I'm going to recommend. You can get it as a Kindle. It's called Diabetes Epidemic in You by Joseph Kraft, MD. Here's a guy that tested over 14,000 people over 25 years, and he evaluated their fasting blood glucose levels and their um, glucose tolerance test and their insulin levels. And he found something fascinating. He actually describes three patterns of insulin. Okay, so because he actually checked fasting insulin and then post-meal insulin levels two, three, four, I think five hours. And he found something quite incredible back in the 70s, actually. This is what he found. The absolute best indication for prediabetes is not high fasting blood sugars. It is high fasting insulin levels, okay? In other words, you could have normal fasting blood glucose levels and have high insulin at the same time. In fact, that was the case. Basically observe that insulin, high insulin comes first, then it's the high sugar, okay? But here's the problem. The doctors aren't testing the insulin levels. It's one of the best indicators for prediabetes. I mean, so check this out. When you have high insulin levels, what do you think that's gonna do to your blood sugars? It's gonna bring it down, not up. So high sugar is not gonna show up until later you might more uh, likely end up with low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, especially if the adrenals are weak. But of course, the adrenals, if your adrenals are strong enough, it will counter the hypoglycemia, so it'll bring it to a normal range. And this could go on for 10, 15, or more years. So here you are, you, have, you get tested, you have normal blood sugars, you think everything is fine, but you have a lot of other symptoms. You're tired after you eat, you're fatigued, you're getting fat, you know, all the other symptoms, but your glucose levels are normal. I would recommend the next time you go to your doctor, get your fasting insulin test and see where the level is at. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I wanted to personally invite you to a new Facebook group that I just started called Dr. Berg's Keto and Intermittent Fasting Lab, okay? So I created this so we can share our successful actions, what worked, what didn't work, your results, so I put a link down below. So go ahead and sign up and I'll see you inside.